is where I do the majority of my enamel painting and things. These are things I worked on yesterday. Cute. These are going to be earrings. Yeah. Got some enamel paint here covered so I can use it today without it drying out. Some new Scraffito beads. These are going to be made into a necklace, I think, maybe, with one of the beads from our trip to Arizona. Okay. <clears throat> Petrified bamboo. Some earrings. Soon to be going up on my website, tinymoniquejewelry.com. Ooh, oh my god. So, on any given day, my work surface is a hot mess. And my computer is usually right there. <clears throat> These are all Matt Crane drawings. Besides David Bowie, I love him. Oh look, Arthur! And then my friend um, in Seattle, she drew that for me. And I'm trying to stay organized with work. These are all the Zoom meetings I have to have with students. I'm missing one class, so imagine another class there. My hydraulic press. Um, bought that when it was on sale at Rio. Here's one enamel sample board. Enamel area. Okay, there's my Vasella kiln, which recently the controller, a couple days ago, took a poop. So I went to school and we had been donated a couple kilns, and I tried this out yesterday, and it's fabulous. This is an old Jelenko kiln, never used. It's like brand new condition. Um, worked like a charm. It smelled a little bit. Hopefully it's not asbestos. I don't know. So this work table used to, used to be Arthur and Liz's work table. When they moved, um, I took it, and... Underneath is where I keep my pickle pot. I use citric pickle. Um, I just like it better than regular pickle. Regular pickle makes me itch, gives me a rash, so I don't use it. Um, I solder here, and then I set up the soldering situation because I live in a basement, um, so my windows are up high, way above my head level. I think my east ceiling's got to be at least 10 or 12 feet high. And this is just a three-way fan from a grow store in Massachusetts. <clears throat> this is my original jewelry bench that I got from um, Pratt Fine Art Center in Seattle. When they were switching to newer benches like these, I bought this one for 60 bucks back in like 2004, five or something like that. I use um, an acetylene and air B tank, the Smith Torch set up and what else do we have here this is an old rolling mill i'm going to try and restore and this is my main jewelry bench and yesterday i was making earring stands to go on the wall so i just had these strips of wood that i cut slots and then i cut little blocks like this so that when i hang it on the wall it sits away from the wall and then I'm able to slide my post earrings into this. Very organized. Um, so I'm really into WG Ball lately. So I hired a student to make these samples for me and I made this board over the COVID uh, residency. So these are all the WG Ball um, opaques. And then here are their liquids and how they do the liquids, their samples online are one coat, two coats. So this represents one dip fired and then the second dip fired. So there's a huge difference um, depending on what you want. <clears throat> I love them. And then they also sell ground coats. So this is all or some of the um, liquids over a ground coat. So I do a copper ground fire and then a, one or two coats of liquid. I usually indicate if it was two coats. Uh, some of them require two coats. They're more translucent. And I have a stump. 
um, from a friend and they do some like flattening and for forming the cork floors and I live in the basement so not too worried about noise but my neighbor her bedroom is right above me so I try to be conscious of that I have a lapidary machine I was lucky enough to get from my mom because she's freaking awesome and um, this is a rock cutter and then when I went to the ECU symposium I won this it's a tube cutter like electronic tube cutter just like Tara Lockler uses freaking love it all right so this is like the best this is because this is technically a bedroom um, I have a full closet and this is my enamel closet so these are all um, that same student that did my other samples of WG ball these are all their transparent colors so she washed them all for me so everything this is the sample pack um, and these two I haven't used them because I don't really use transparents but I got a grant so I bought a ton of ball enamels and then this is where I have um, sheer so I got this on sale I don't know I think at Rio I can't remember and then all of my Ikea drawers this is all enamel these are sunshine colors um, these are miscellaneous this was donated to me these are all leaded old leaded um, Thompson these are all Thompson unleaded and then these are all Japanese um, uh, Nanomia and otherwise I used to get from Coral Shaper and then I have whew, stones lots of stones these are from the Germans <clears throat> enamel paraphernalia oh my god so much stuff this is like crazy rocks rocks that need to be ground up it's crazy in here what else I got this cool Kerr wax pen I love it I've got drawers and drawers of wax over there for carving and this is my <laughs> my silver drawer help I need help my favorite button back the hell up I'm gonna put that on today when I go grocery shopping and yeah this is it my studio tour so the windows are up there I close this one because if I go to the bathroom which is right behind me People could see in at night. Jerks. All right. That's it. Bye.